will only get worse, much worse, if we don't act right now and enact this order. Mayor Lida Cruson announces a stay at home order for the city of St. Louis. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday. I'm Corey Stark. That's just one of the local developments we're following today in the coronavirus outbreak. We're going to give you the latest right now. Stay at home orders will begin on Monday in both the city of St. Louis and county starting at 6 p.m. A similar order announced earlier this week by Governor J.B. Pritzker for the entire state of Illinois just went into effect at 5 o'clock this evening. And Missouri Governor Mike Parson says groups of 10 or more will be banned across Missouri starting on Monday. We have team coverage tonight. News 4's Vinton Blandon is live in the Metro East with the impact that the Illinois stay at home order is going to affect and the impact that's going to have. But first, I want to get straight to Russell Kinsaw for more on the new restrictions in the city of St. Louis and County. Russell. Yeah, Corey, right now I'm at the Schnucks Grocery Store at I-55 in Loughborough. Of course, grocery stores, pharmacies, they are essential businesses allowed to stay open and you're allowed to get out of your house to go to the shop. But both city and county leaders signed orders, not suggestions, but orders that you stay home unless you're getting out to go get some sort of essential to live on or to run your household. Okay, so these stay at home orders start at different times based on where you live. So pay close attention for people living in the county. St. Louis County it begins at one minute after midnight early Monday morning. For those living in the city, the stay at home order starts later in the day at 6 p.m. on Monday. Now this is going to last 30 days, which is two cycles of a typical quarantine period. You could leave your home to get food, medicine, which includes your pet's veterinarian and gas. Only essential businesses will be allowed to stay open, and that does not include fitness centers as well as hair and nail salons. Mayor Lida Cruson and County Executive Sam Page said these steps won't be easy, but they're necessary. We must limit unnecessary social mixing and interactions. We must do that so that we can safeguard our local health care systems, so that we can safeguard health care workers, and most importantly, so that we can prevent additional people in our community from getting sick. Of course, you can go outside to go for a walk in your neighborhood or go to the park, but you're asked to observe those social distancing rules. Now, uh, any non-essential business that does stay open, that's not on the list of essential businesses, they can get in trouble. They could be charged with a Class A misdemeanor. Both Crusen and Page said it's vital that people reduce the amount of contact they have with other people in order to reduce the number of people getting the virus and ultimately to save lives. Live in South St. Louis, Russell Kinsall, News 4.